Group G, we discussed that tonight. It brings us to Group H. Group H, early in the morning, Croatia takes on Russia in split. And this one is a huge one. Huge one. And Croatia, a second in the table. A draw won't be good enough to qualify directly for Qatar. It's win or into the playoffs. This is not a team you want to meet in the playoffs as well. But for Croatia, they won't want to leave it to the playoffs like 2018. They want to go straight into the World Cup and avoid giving their fans a heart attack, right? Russia, they've done a great job. They sacked Chechasov after a horrible Euro campaign. But, you know, manager in charge, very capable right now. Slovakia, Slovenia, out. We know they're out. For the predictions coming up for those dead rubber games, Slovenia, 2-1 versus Cyprus, in my opinion. Malta, 1, Slovakia, 3. It leaves us with one, one match left to predict. Croatia versus Russia. This would be the fifth ever meeting between Croatia and Russia. Two matches won for Croatia, three draws, and they have never, ever lost to Russia, which is a great thing. Never lost to Russia. They met Russia at the 2018 World Cup, and they won 4-3 on penalties. You, 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 you won't be going down to penalties. So that game is basically a draw. So last two games against Russia, a nil-nil draw in the group. 2-2 draw at the World Cup, 3-1 win in an international friendly. They wouldn't need to replicate that. So, so, so realistically, it's only one game they have really won against Russia in 90 minutes. And two nil-nil draws. So in five games, there's been three nil-nil draws and a 2-2 draw. This one, it, it's difficult to predict. But this Croatian team is not the Croatian team from 2018. That Croatian team in 2018 was a bit stronger. He had Mandzukic, he had Šubasic, he had Strinic, and he had Chaluka and Co. You know what I mean? And, and, and it was a better team. It was a better team in my opinion with Rakitic as well comes to mind in the midfield along with Modric. So you have Rakitic and Modric in the midfield with Mandzukic up top. That's a force. But these days with Kramerich and, you know, a bunch of jokers up top, you know what I mean, who's not putting the ball in the back of the net and with Zlatko Dalic not giving Mislav Orsic enough time on the field, in my opinion, it, it's kind of very inconsistent. I know Croatia did blow away Malta and they, they picked up some good results in a the group. They've done what they had to do against the likes of, you know, um, the, the other teams in the group, but still... You find yourself two points behind Russia needing a win against a team that you historically have not performed that great against. You performed well, but not great. Croatia is a team that I really back in the 2018 World Cup along with Belgium. Because, you know, a lot of Croatian fans, when I covered the thing, they jumped on the, you know, the bandwagon and everything on the channel. And... I have a lot of Croatian supporters, so when I talk Croatian football, they do come out and support the thing. So big up to any one of them watching this right now. Guys, Croatia going through to the playoffs. I don't see Croatia beating Russia. 1-1. One, one. I don't see them beating Russia. Whether they're at home, away, on neutral ground, in, on land, or in sea, or in space, they're not beating Russia in this game. Russia's qualifying directly for Qatar 2022, like I initially predicted. And if Croatia does manage to beat Russia, I'll be I'll be surprised, but I'll, I'll be happy at the same time for Havatska, for Vertreni. Because we know when they're on fire, they're on fire. You see what I'm saying? But when they're cold, they're cold. And this team has been very difficult to predict, man. Croatia won, Russia won, Russia true to the world cup croatia into the playoffs that's my predictions for that one tough predictions but i have to make the tough calls nevertheless let me know your thoughts talk to me